Hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar on preserving customizations with overlays and custom objects in AI system 7.6.04. Opening the floor today is Mr. Vaibham Sharma, senior consultant, Vyom Labs, with three plus years of experience on BMC product and services, who will set the direction for the webinar, preserving customizations with overlays. Over to Mr. Vaibham. Uh, hello everyone. Okay. Today, let's look at look at today's agenda for today. The introduction to overlays, why we'll use overlays, the benefits of overlays, what is BPCO, using BPCO. So let's begin. Okay. Let's start focus on what is an overlay, why we need to go with overlays. An overlay is a copy of an AR system object that is used in place of the origin object. It is nothing but a replica of the origin objects which can be modified as per business needs and can be used in place of origin objects without harm to the system. There is flexibility that you can command system to use overlaid object or base object. So an object created in the base development mode of the developer studio are origin objects. An origin object for which an overlay has been created is an overlaid object. To ensure customizations are not lost during upgrades, you modify the overlay and not the origin object. During upgrades, the overlay is ignored whether or not the upgrade program modifies the origin object definition. The origin object definition is retained and might be modified if an application is upgraded. After the upgrade, AR system continues to use the overlay in place of the origin object. The only exception to this is when an overlaid object is deleted during an upgrade. Its overlay is also deleted. At runtime, AR system server and client such as mid-tier BMC Remedy user use the overlay objects in place of origin objects. For example, if a filter is to be fired during an operation, the AR system detects whether or not that filter has an overlay the server executes the overlay filter instead of the origin filter. Or if the client needs to get a copy of the overlaid object from the server, it gets the object overlay instead. Okay, why would we use overlays? They support customizations without fear. They enforce best practices in the development using the developer studio. They preserve customizations during upgrades of AR system powered applications. Now compared with pre-7604 versions, object customizations best practices are only advisory. The changed objects not get affected, fixes enhancements during upgrades. The worst case, objects may be overwritten after an upgrade if the best practices are not followed. Now in future, that is 7604 onwards, changed objects are upgraded and customizations are preserved. The developer studio does not allow changes to the base application. So the application can only be extended with custom objects or overlays created. After an upgrade, choose to accept new functionality or stay with customizations or you can merge the two. The worst case over here would be the application would work exactly as it did before the upgrade. Okay, so what you're looking at is a diagram of the a base application and the overlaid application running on top of it. The best practice customization mode has three types of objects. Base, mod, base objects, unmodified, custom objects and overlay objects. Here we can see some unmodified BMC objects and some modified BMC objects and some custom created objects. Custom objects are not modified during upgrades. Base objects are retained when overlays are created. Okay, let's look at the, some of the benefits of using overlays. Okay, overlays allow identification and protection of added functionality, identification of modified functionality, preservation of relevant changes, across application upgrades. So overlays enforce best practices 
when using uh, the developer studio for development tasks. They preserve customizations during upgrades of AR system servers, components and other applications. They also enable you to find all your customizations quickly and easily. Along with this, we also have a benefit of using the best practice conversion utility, which enables you to convert pre-7604 customizations to overlays or custom objects. During upgrades, an AR system installation program ignores overlays. It does not undo their modifications, overwrite them, delete them. In fact, it is unaware that they even exist. It changes only the objects that were installed with the application or server. After the upgrade, the application or server continues to use the overlay instead of the origin objects for runtime operations. Okay, so this diagram is explaining the basic steps for implementing overlays. You upgrade only AR system server to release 7604. You would use the BPCO to convert your customizations to overlays. Upgrade all other AR system components such as Remedy approval server, assignment engine, email engine and the area LDAP and ARDBC LDAP plugins to release 7604. And lastly, upgrade your AR system based applications such as BMC, ATMC, MDB and the ITSM suit to 7604. And now let's look at creating overlays. Overlays can be created for the following objects as you can see. Forms, fields, active links, active link guides, escalations, filters, filter guides, local applications, menus, packing lists and web services. To create these overlays, you would open the developer studio in best practice customization mode. Open the appropriate object list. Perform either you basically right click the ob object that you want to overlay and choose create overlay. The new overlay object is added to the object list and you can see that there's a overlapping blue and gray squares that are added in the overlay icon. Okay, we have some screenshots showing the different uh, overlay scenarios. Let's look at the different modes in the developer studio basically. We have the best practice customization mode and the base development mode. By navigating through the file menu, you can switch the modes as necessary. Also, you have shortcut keys for the same as you can see, Alt P and Alt B. This screen shows how you can create a form overlay. You navigate through the object list for forms. Double click the form and set at the left side of the panel. Select from the form create overlay for you can even filter the form by choosing filtering options available. Right click on the selected form and hit create overlay. This will create overlay of the selected form and will change the symbol of the object as shown on the previous slide. Oh, here we have a view overlay. Once you create the overlay of a form, you need to create view overlay of this form to add new fields on this form. You can open the form to which you have created an overlay, navigate through form menu and hit create view overlay. This will create the view overlay of the selected form. Now you are free to add fields to this form. As you can see, we are creating a field overlay over here. To modify the field on this form, we need to create overlay of the field by applying the same procedure which we have applied for creating overlay of the form. Here we can see we are creating an overlay of our image. Now let's look at comparing objects at the same location. Beginning with release 7604, you can compare objects that are of the same type, exist in the same file or the same AR system server and have different names. For example, you can compare an object with its overlay if they exist on the same server. In the object list view of a file or an AR system server, select the objects that you want to compare with other objects. Select view, differences and current file or server name. 
the source destination mapping dialog box appears as you can see to compare the source objects with our other objects you change the values in the destination object name to the names of the objects that you want to compare with the source objects for example to compare two different active links or on the same server select active link 1 in the server object list and in this dialog box enter active link 2 on the destination object list name and click okay 